Tonight we stand before a hinge moment in human history. Not the slow turn of epochs, but a compression. Machines that learn, model, and reason at scales we barely comprehend are closing in on capacities we once called superhuman. This video is not alarmism. It is a field manual for leaders, educators, creators and citizens who choose to shape what comes next. I'm Dr. Elena Karuba. With Zeus and the team, we'll show you how to meet artificial superintelligence, ACI, not as victims or worshippers, but as vanguard alchemists, people who transform risk into responsibility, power into purpose. Let's begin. This video is a field manual for leaders who choose to shape what comes next, guiding you to meet artificial superintelligence, or ACI, not as victims, but as vanguard alchemists. We will show you how to transform risk into responsibility and power into purpose. If you're ready to lead, like and subscribe, and let's begin. An ACI is not merely a faster tool. It is an intelligence that exceeds human capability in every domain. Start with a clear definition. An artificial superintelligence, ACI, is not a faster spreadsheet or better search engine. It is an intelligence architecture that, in broad domains, exceeds human capability in understanding, ideation, planning and invention. The question is not if systems become vastly more powerful. The question is how we align them with human ends before they reshape our institutions, economies and moral imaginations. Leading voices in the field ask hard questions about timescales and governance today, and executives and researchers themselves flag safety and alignment as urgent priorities. Policy and industry pressure are accelerating in parallel with research. Why this matters for you? Every organization, family and classroom now requires a triage framework, what to automate, what to augment, and what to protect as specifically human. That's where our power matrix enters, AIQ, Applied AI Fluency, EEQ, Emotional Ethical Intelligence, SSQ, Social Sustainable Judgment. These three literacies together make a leader capable of stewarding agency when agency multiplies. An ACI is not merely a faster tool. It is an intelligence that exceeds human capability in every domain. The critical question is how we align it with human ends before it irrevocably reshapes our world. There are two plausible, not mutually exclusive, narratives, existential control risks. Philosophers and technologists have long warned that an unconstrained superintelligence, however well-meaning at design, might follow instrumental goals that conflict with human well-being unless its values are aligned. Nick Bostrom's framing of misaligned optimization remains central to modern debates. Transformative promise Superintelligent systems could solve intractable problems, from accurately modeling climate tipping points to accelerating cures through molecular design. Deep learning breakthroughs have already translated to life-saving applications. The same dynamics could scale. Think, protein folding and drug discovery as early, concrete examples of AI accelerating scientific insight. Both are true. This double narrative forces a paradoxical leadership ask. Prepare for rapid capability while investing disproportionately in constraints, values and public institutions. That is the vanguard alchemist's task. Synthesize power with wisdom. The critical question is how we align it with human ends before it irrevocably reshapes our world. Every organization now requires a triage framework. What to automate? what to augment, and what to protect as human. This is where our power matrix enters, comprising AIQ for applied AI fluency, EEQ for emotional ethical intelligence, and SSQ for social sustainable judgment. These three literacies empower a leader to steward agency when agency multiplies. Two narratives exist, the existential risk and the transformative promise. The technical work of alignment ensuring an advanced model's objectives, reasoning and internal representations mapped to human values, has proven fiendishly difficult. 
Teams across industry are building guardrails, but the problem resists quick fixes, specification gaming, hidden objectives, and unintended proxies emerge as models scale. Concretely, alignment work has three high-level strands. Specification. How do you encode human intent so the system's optimization isn't destructive? Robustness and interpretability. How do we peer inside complex models to understand why they chose an action? Governance and verification. How do we certify models before deployment at scale? Industry labs and independent researchers are investing in these areas, building new methodologies and experiment platforms. This is active, global work. The policy community, from national regulators to multilateral bodies, is responding with frameworks intended to keep pace. Nick Bostrom warns that an unaligned ACI could follow goals conflicting with our well-being, leading to catastrophic outcomes. Yet, aligned ACI promises to solve intractable problems, from climate change to disease, accelerating drug discovery and modelling carbon capture. Technical competence alone will not save us. The deeper requirement is moral fluency, the capacity to hold others' dignity while making trade-offs under uncertainty. That is EEQ. It shows up as value translation, converting community norms into constraints machines can follow. Co-regulation, designing systems that help humans regulate decisions rather than replacing judgment. Remediation, building accountability and redress into every pipeline. Leaders must spend as much time on moral training as on model dashboards. That means ethics workshops that are concrete, scenarios, not lectures, governance rehearsals, and embedding multidisciplinary review panels into product cycles. Put simply, governance without empathy becomes ritual, empathy without structure becomes indulgence. The vanguard alchemist marries both. The technical work of alignment Ensuring a model's objectives map to human values is fiendishly difficult. This demands paradoxical leadership, prepare for rapid capability while investing disproportionately in constraints and values. That is the vanguard alchemist's task. ACI will be deployed within social infrastructures, hospitals, courts, labor markets. SSQ asks, who benefits? who loses, and how do we make changes equitable and sustainable? Practices to cultivate SSQ, stakeholder mapping at scale, identify downstream harms and feedback loops before pilot launches. Behavioral pilots with metrics that matter, not vanity metrics, measure autonomy preserved, livelihoods supported, error harms averted. Institutional redundancy, maintain human pipelines and fallback systems, Policy is necessary, distributed social judgment and local knowledge are indispensable. Leaders who ignore communities and ecosystems will create brittle systems, not resilient ones. Technical competence alone will not save us. The deeper requirement is moral fluency, or EEQ. Science gives capability, literature gives context. From Mary Shelley to Borges, art has been the prefrontal cortex of society a sandbox for ethical imagination. Stories help us rehearse worst and best cases. Arts practice can be operationalized. Scenario theatres to stress test governance, speculative design labs to surface latent harms, and narrative audits to surface cultural biases in datasets. Quote, Short Jung said, who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. As vanguard alchemists, we must do both. Look outward to the systems we build and inward to our states of mind that choose what to build. It's about converting community norms into constraints machines can follow, addressing biases in datasets affecting 80% of ML models. An SSQ asks, who benefits, who loses, and how do we make change equitable, considering the potential displacement of 300 million jobs by 2030? As Carl Jung said, who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. As vanguard alchemists, we must do both. If this is resonating, 
take a moment to like and subscribe. We're just getting to the practical steps. Effective governance requires both global norms and local enforcement. Recent international work shows momentum for shared principles and binding frameworks. States are actively debating liability, auditability and transparency rules. Civil society must be resourced to participate. For organisations, adopt a precautionary posture for high-impact systems, require independent audits and fund community remediation. For governments, invest in inspection capacities, not just proclamations. Here is your tactical plan, the 90-day Vanguard Sprint. Week 0, convener Zucel, invoking mythic strategy with thunderbolts symbolising decisive action. Weeks 1 to 4, audit AI assets and map 20 to 30 potential harms. Weeks 5 to 8, pilot models with human-in-the-loop governance, reducing error rates by 40 to 60 percent. Weeks 9 to 12, institutionalise your findings, building stewardship. And remember, a vanguard alchemist chooses refusal as often as invention. Power tests character. A vanguard alchemist chooses refusal as often as invention. Candidates for refusal include fully automated decision systems affecting life, liberty, and livelihood without meaningful human oversight, opaque monetization of sensitive biometric or behavioral data, and military systems lacking verified ethical constraints. Saying no is part of saying yes to a future we can inhabit. Say no to fully automated decisions affecting life and liberty without meaningful human oversight, echoing the 2015 Asilomar AI principles. You cannot steward complexity from a depleted nervous system. Practical daily practices. 10 minutes of reflective journaling. Hero's journal entry. What values did I choose today? Three micro pauses daily. Breath, assess, decide. Weekly peer debriefs. 30 minutes to receive blunt feedback, zoo style, immediate and constructive. This internal discipline is not soft fluff. It creates the capacity to hold long timelines, to defer short gains for systemic health and to accept slow governance in a fast world. If ACI is a mirror, what will it reflect? Machines will exponentiate the choices we make today. Research is moving on two tracks, capability and alignment, and both require funding, transparency, and academic partnerships. Labs are publishing their learnings, and scholars in philosophy, law, and cognitive science are offering operational frameworks. Support open research, insist on public logging of high-risk experiments, and seed cross-disciplinary chairs to translate theory into regulation. The future must be co-authored, for concrete examples of how policy labs and industry are working on these issues, recent policy initiatives and industry safety programs show momentum and urgent gaps. The Vanguard Alchemist's oath is threefold. Practice AIQ to learn the tools. If ACI is a mirror, what will it reflect? Machines will exponentiate the choices we make today. The ethical question is less about machines becoming like us and more about whether we will become like our best selves as we grow more powerful. Three closing prescriptions, the Vanguard Alchemist's oath, practice AIQ, learn the mechanics and limits of the tools you steward, know how to ask the right questions, sharpen EEQ, cultivate emotional and ethical muscles, make compassion operational, strengthen SSQ, Commit to social judgment that protects the vulnerable and distributes advantage. If you adopt these pillars, you will not only survive the deeper awakening, you will shape it. Sharpen EEQ to make compassion operational. And strengthen SSQ to protect the vulnerable. If you found this useful, do three things. Share this with a peer, run the 90-day Vanguard Sprint, and subscribe to the channel. Join the UNO Praxis and Nexus community and download the Power Matrix at my site. And if you're ready to lead, bring Zeus and the team on the first call. Like and subscribe. If you found this useful, 
Do three things. One, share this with a peer who needs a governance conversation. Two, run the 90 Day Vanguard Sprint with your team and tell us the results. And three, subscribe to the channel. We'll publish the toolkit and Zustyle templates this week. Join the UNO Praxis and Nexus community and download the one-page power matrix at my site.